This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. We're live from Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One this morning, and we're in the kitchen, which means it's time for our cooking segment. And we have somebody new this morning. We have Virginia Watson. How are you? I'm great. Great! Are you excited to be here? I am. We're excited to have you here. I'm sure you've been smelling the onions. I know, it I smells have. delicious. And speaking of onions, you're going to teach us how to make caramelized sautéed onions for right. your meat dishes or as a side dish, right? Right, that is right. And we're going to let Brian do all the work. I'm, I'm uh, he's starting cooking all here. here. So before we get to that, we need to start with our onion. Well, right? I'd like to start right here because oh, they have been uh, cooking and you need to stir those frequently. I, I uh, want you to notice that he has the pan handle turned to the side. And when we're uh, cooking in the kitchen, we have to think about safety mm -hmm. because he could uh, knock the skillet off. Or if we had young children that at home, is very true. they could <laughs> knock it off. So you want to be real careful. He's also using a wooden spoon. I like to use a wooden spoon because it's long. It doesn't fall in the ingredients that you're preparing. Also, wood does not conduct heat, and it doesn't damage the bottom of your uh, utensil. Look and at that. that is also so the, true. My roommate used to always yell at me for ruining the Teflon with the metal uh -huh, fork and stuff. That's right. Now, yeah, the onions need to be transparent in the color that they are, and I'm going to add brown sugar to make them caramelized and he's going to stir that until it's completely dissolved and then we'll be back to the in just a few moments okay you can either use white onions or yellow onions we're going to use a yellow onion this morning and the onion grows in this way grows in the ground and this is the root of it okay and uh, I washed that off before I brought it this morning and if you grow onions in your own garden uh, there'll probably be a lot more dirt on them okay. when you uh, <clears throat> when you actually uh, go to prepare them so you probably will want to wash them. So I cut the root off first because that will cause less tears for you and I from I our eyes. Say, uh. So that's the secret. Do you, I heard that if you wash it, is that true or I, no? I think cutting the root is okay. a better solution. Good to know because I love onions but I'm always crying when I'm cutting them. Okay, well the root, you see we don't have much aroma from it right now. Yeah. And so you just take this uh, skin off okay. like I'm doing. Okay. And you want to make sure that you uh, throw away your trash keep it away from your stove burners for safety reasons. There can be a lot Another of things happen in, in the kitchen when you are uh, cooking, so remember to do that. All right. And then what do we do after this? Well, we're going to throw this away, and I'm a firm believer in keeping your um, cleanup at a minimum, so we'll just there get rid go. of that. Look at that. And then I'm going to cut the onion in half lengthwise. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it over on the cutting board and I'm going to cut about fourth inch slices, and it's in the curved part of your onion. And <clears throat> you need to use a silicone cutting board. Uh, the wooden cutting boards are not very sanitary, and this can go directly into the dishwasher, and then it will be uh, will dry and uh, be safe to use. And we have to think about the, our guests and our family when we're preparing them. Some people might use a um, uh, uh, French knife or a chef's mm -hmm. knife. I just use a paring knife and I'm separating these pieces a little bit. Okay. And this is prior to what Brian's doing right okay. now. And I don't mean to rush you, but because of time constraint, we have less than a minute. So let's okay. kind of... Okay. And I just pick up the cutting board and scoot those into the skillet. I okay. had uh, okay. about three tablespoons of mar uh, butter in there okay. and then put the onions in. We're not going to cook those okay. right now. Now what Brian needs to do is to drain those in the shallow a vegetable bowl and on a paper towel. How long do you cook these for? Probably about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. He's and done a really good job. Okay. And so what we do when we're going to come back is actually top our hamburger with this. Very. So and if you're just joining us, we're live at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One with Virginia Watson and we just made caramelized onions. We did and we're going to use them as a garnish on this meat patty. Um, you can just put them on top like this. You can use them in a main dish along with other ingredients, or you can use them as a side. Now, when you're preparing meat for your family, make sure that it is well cooked. And I think each one of us probably have a cookbook, at least one in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so you um, look in the meat section, and it has a chart as to the degree of doneness that you need to have okay. your meat. And when you're preparing for gas, sometimes you're in a hurry to get things uh, undercooked. Mm -hmm. So be uh -huh. sure to, to watch doing that. We also eat with our eyes. Mm -hmm. In other words, if it doesn't look appetizing, we don't try it wherever we're at. So uh, think about arranging your food. We could stack all of this up mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be nearly as attractive as I it agree. is spread out. Lots or of colors out there. It looks 
Very good. Good. I'm glad you like how Molly's doing it. All right. And what we just did was we pretty much just cut up the onions and put them in a saute pan with some butter, you, some butter and brown sugar, right? Yes, but with a brown sugar towards the end. So okay. You don't, it'll burn. Okay. You put it at and you cook it about 12 to 15 minutes or right. so, right? And isn't the recipe to be on the website? It will be it later will. this morning. So there you go. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, it's been fun. Oh yeah, and I hope you come Thank again. You. So and like I said, we will be posting this later this. Uh, afternoon on our website at heartlandconnection.com just make sure to click on the neighborhood tab i know a lot of you have emailed us looking for that so thanks again for tuning in this morning i'm ella soroka and i'm brian Dukes. your news will continue tonight with ktvo news at five but you can check us out anytime at heartlandconnection.com and don't forget to follow us on facebook and twitter have a great day everyone and we'll see you right back here monday morning at 6 a.m